Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Today I'm gonna to be doing a clean and decorate with me video. I've done some decorations already and some we'll do after this video because I'm still waiting for some decorations to come in. Um, but today I'm gonna to go through and show you what I will be doing. And I'm gonna be starting with adding these Glade plugins so I can have a nice Christmas smell in the house. Got these from Walmart on Black Friday and I'm pretty excited to have a sm the house smelling like Christmas. This comes in the pack of three. I'll be putting one in the basement, one on the regular floor, and one on the second floor. All right, so next I'll be showing you how I'm going to be decorating my main breakfast table. All right, so I'm gonna start by getting this cleaned off. All right, now that that's clean, I'm gonna show you what we need to do the table setup that I'm doing for Christmas. All right, so the first thing I have, the charger plates, the silver ones that I got from my Dollar Tree haul, which I recently did a video of, so I'm gonna place those now. Now I have my china dinner plates. Next we have the utensils. So I'll show you how I wrap this. So we take these utensils. Then I'm gonna take the cloth and make it into, well, put it in half first, and then do half again. So it's like a nice square. Then we take the knife, fork, spoon, put on top of each other like that. And put at the edge of one of the corners. Tie us up, then we wrap it in half, like this. Just tuck them in, and we hold on to them, if you can see. And then you take this side, tuck this under, and then roll. And you might have to adjust it a little bit. So it should turn out like that. I'm gonna place one of these on each of the plates. All right, next I'm gonna be putting in the centerpiece. So I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for in the store, so I'm creating the centerpiece from my own foliage, which I got from the pine trees in my backyard. Now I have candles that will be spacing along um, the length of the centerpiece. All right, so next I'll be using my uh, water and wine glasses and placing those at every place.
now putting a teacup and saucer to the right of each place. Next, we'll be using the bread plate. However, we're not using, we're not gonna be having um, bread with the dinner. So I wanted to put something decorative on them. So I got these um, snowflakes at Walmart. So I'm just gonna be placing these on top of them as kind of like a little placeholder, almost like how charger plates work. Makes it look pretty. Then last but not least, I have one little decorative item that I'm placing at the front of the table. And voila. Now I know a lot of people, um, they don't use china these days, but my mother-in-law always did this for the holidays. And I just think it gives a little something extra to Christmas. So there you have it. All right, so next we have this area of my counter in the kitchen that needs to be cleaned up and decorated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. These first couple decorations, I believe were from Ross Dress from last. I absolutely love that store. So these were from the Dollar Tree Hall. For anyone that who has or is buying poinsettias for the holiday season, make sure if you do have pets, uh, these are poisonous. So for my dog, I have made sure to keep them on the counter or at least high up where she cannot reach. I originally was going to have these outside, but then I found out that in the cold weather, they'll actually die. So for these ones, I'm gonna be keeping them inside and then I might buy another set today, which I would put just on Christmas Eve for our party outside um, in front of our house, like on the um, steps. So, in the, in the meantime, I would purchase them and keep them inside again, high up. Um, and then afterwards, I'd probably just bring them back in after the party. That snowflake, if you see on the counter, that's blocking the outlet. That's also another item that I got from my Dollar Tree haul. So if you were able to see that video, you'll notice that, um, well, that item from that video. So yeah, that's just one little trick I use to cover up the outlet so they're not seen. And voila, that's done. All right, so now we're cleaning and decorating the island. I don't know about you guys, but it seems that my house gets pretty much dirty the second after I clean it. So I don't know if it's the same for you, but that's pretty much how it works in our house. <laughs> Got some super cute Christmas um, towels for the kitchen on Black Friday. 
if you see that red oven mitt on the countertop that I believe was from my Aunt Frances Ann. So if that is correct, Aunt Frances Ann, thank you so much for those and also for the red towels that you gave us along with those. We're really excited to be using those for the Christmas season. They match perfectly and are exactly what we needed and they're also high quality. So very excited to be using them and thank you so much again. All right, so this is the coffee area. Just gonna make it a little bit more festive. All right, so now I'm gonna get working on the bathroom here. Um, so this is my favorite scent ever from Febreze. I, well, for Christmas definitely, but actually oftentimes I use this year round because I love it so much. I'm gonna change around the emergency basket and I'm gonna put in this little one that I got from the Dollar Tree haul. Now onto my foyer table. All right, so that's pretty much all for today. Um, the last thing I'm gonna be doing will be using these, so this candle and this spray to run the house just to have it uh, smell a little bit more Christmassy. Um, and otherwise, I'll give you guys an update once I have Christmas Eve, everything set up, all the food and everything. I'll give you a little tour of the place. So again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, almost Happy New Year, but I'll have some videos out for that hopefully. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.